Shalom family. So Israel has finalized and signed off on all plans with the IDF for operations into Lebanon should Hezbollah get to that point that they need to now move to a war footing which is 99% certain and uh, Hezbollah is also apparently planning a preemptive surprise attack against Israel any time from now within the next two weeks. I think it'll be sooner than the two weeks than anything. I get that same feeling in my gut that was about the same experience and feeling we had around October 7. So I think there's probably a surprise attack coming from Hezbollah which will result in Israel full out attacking. Israel has evacuated the northern communities completely in preparation for what's coming because they know what's coming. Multiple other countries are now stressing and pulling their people out of Lebanon, some out of Israel. Uh, Canada prepares for mass evacuation of citizens out of Lebanon. Foreign Minister Jolie informed Katz that Ottawa has dispatched military forces to the region in preparation for the evacuation. Uh, this is in response to the rising tensions between Israel and Hezbollah along the border. Canada is gearing up for what is its largest ever evacuation operation aimed at safeguarding approximately 45,000 Canadian citizens that are in Lebanon. They don't talk about the ones in Israel, but I'm assuming they'd be evacuated as well. The window of opportunity is closing, Cuts emphasized, expressing Israel's concern over the security situation along its northern border. He stressed Israel cannot tolerate a scenario where residents are displaced because of Hezbollah. Kuwait has urged their citizens to leave Lebanon immediately. And again, multiple other countries, because they can all see what's clearly in front of our faces, and that is that war is going to break out full on in the north. Now, apparently, America has said if war does break out in the north full on, then they will supply Israel with everything they need. But until then, there's going to be this tit-for-tat thing about having weapons and armaments because of the war in the south, which is really ridiculous. I mean, how quickly are you going to be able to supply what's needed once a full-blown war breaks out with Hezbollah, which is a way bigger threat, better organized and better supplied and better manned than Hamas in the north, including their rocket arsenals and everything else. And Iran is making sure that she's prepped and ready for this attack and onslaught against Israel. They want to do things like hit the electrical grid and take down power in Israel, which it's quite possible, and I'll touch on that in another video, they want to hit military bases, civilian areas, they want to spread Israel thin. And the thing is, if they're not done with Hamas in the south, and they have to give all their attention to the north, that opens up the south again for further attacks. And not just that, Judea and Samaria have a brilliant opportunity then with divided attentions up to the north and the south to start hitting again from their areas. So Israel is truly between a rock and a hard place and needs prayer and just for us to bring her before the Lord in a time such as this. While we are still here at this extremely high rapture watch time where all these signs are happening and the whole world hates Israel, we are able to pray for Israel, pray for more of them to encounter their Messiah, pray for the Lord to just intervene and let them see that it is the Lord, that it's not America, it's not the allies, it is God. And pray for more people on all sides, Lebanese, Hezbollah, Hamas, Palestinians, everyone, Kuwait, all their people, Egypt, that everyone has God experiences with Jesus Christ and comes to a saving grace knowledge of the truth in a time such as this. And we've heard miracles about this on all sides, repeatedly and constantly as God works in these situations. We, as his servants, in the field with him, pray.